Welcome to the 97th Annual Tap Day Ceremony. Our first society to be recognized is Mortarboard. Mortarboard began in 1915 as the Friars Club, an honorary organization for women. Three years later, the Friars Club aligned with Mortarboard, a national women's honor society, though it now includes students of all genders. Beginning in 1915 as the Friars Club, Mortarboard is an honorary organization for women. Three years after its founding, the Friars Club aligned with Mortarboard, a national women's honor society, and now it includes students of all genders. My name is Olivia Smith, and I'm the president of Mortarboard. Mortarboard, a national honor society for college seniors, was created to facilitate cooperation among senior honor societies to contribute to the self-awareness of its members, to promote equal opportunities among all people, and to emphasize the advancement of the status of women, though now members of any gender identity. The Friars also aim to support the ideals of the university, to advance a spirit of scholarship, to recognize and encourage leadership, to provide service, and to establish the opportunity for a meaningful exchange of ideas as individuals and as a group. The Greek motto, Pi Sigma Alpha, aligns to the words scholarship, leadership, and service, which friars pride themselves upon. The chapter's colors, gold and silver, represent achievement and opportunity. The Friars Chapter of Mortarboard at the University of Missouri strives to build a fellowship of members united by shared values and a common ritual. Equipped with integrity and altruism, these members continuously endeavor to fulfill the needs of their university and community through humble acts of service. As the friars stand with the resilience embodied by our timeless columns, we embrace the challenges of society bound in solidarity. With extreme gratitude, we welcome the newest members of Mortar Board into our trusted circle. They have gone above and beyond to demonstrate the ideals of a true friar, which I will now speak to so everyone can join us in congratulating them. First, I would like to honor Alvira Nishant. Alvira is a junior from Hyderabad, India. She is studying nursing while also serving as vice president of universities fighting world hunger and the treasurer of Missouri International Student Council. Alvira's recommender applauds her for her academic performance, character, and commitment to be of service to the community and especially to people who are vulnerable and in need. And she says that she stands tall as someone who will always honor the education and life experiences afforded by attendance at Mizzou. Congratulations, Alvira. Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Mohammed Abu Salah. <laughs> Mohammed is a junior from here, Columbia, Missouri. He's studying biology and psychology while also serving as president and founder of Magical Moments Foundation and president of Pre-Medical Society. Mohammed's recommender says, I am very impressed with Mohammed's work ethic, intelligence, and dedication. I believe he will develop further into an excellent undergraduate researcher. Congratulations, Mohammed. <laughs> Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Rihanna Ellis. Rihanna is a junior from Kansas City, Missouri. She is studying information technology and linguistics while also serving in operations IT, a resident advisor, a freshman interest group peer learning assistant, and a Missouri Students Association senator. Rihanna's recommender notes that she has an amazing ability to shepherd others and bring out their best. They go on to say that Rihanna's confidence to share ideas and willingness to collaborate is within the top 5% of students I've worked with in my 10 years advising. Congratulations, Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna. 
Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Emma McDougall. <laughs> Emma is a junior from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. She is studying chemical engineering while also serving as the Director of Finance for the Society of Women Engineers, a member of Engineers Without Borders, an undergraduate research fellow, and being a conference chair for the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. Emma's recommender said that she stood out to me as an exceptional student with unbridled curiosity who had success in high school and potential as a college student. They also note, having interacted with well over 600 undergraduate students in my career, I can say with all honesty that Emma is in the top 1% of students I have met at their level. Congratulations, Emma. <laughs> Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Scout Hudson. Scout is a sophomore from St. Peter's, Missouri. She's studying journalism and constitutional democracy while also serving as the editor-in-chief for The Maneater, researcher at the Renner Reynolds Journalism Institute, and voter protection coordinator. Scout's recommender says, this candidate embodies everything a leader should aspire to be, and working with her has been a great pleasure. Her achievements so far stand as a testament to her commitment and dedication to what is important to her, which is being a journalist. Congratulations, Scout. Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Autumn Gavlin. Autumn is a junior from Joliet, Illinois. She is studying anthropology and theater with an emphasis in performance while also serving as a mixed at Mizzou general advocate and a dance teacher for kids to express themselves and foster a space for creative expression. Autumn's recommender says that she stands by her convictions and advocates for others to ensure that they are treated with dignity. I have no doubt that this candidate will make an exceptional addition to your chapter. Her magnetic personality and eagerness to promote positive change will serve your chapter well. Congratulations, Autumn. <laughs> Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Kennedy Rhodes. Kennedy is a junior from Neosho, Missouri. She's studying theater with an emphasis in writing for, for, for performance while also serving as the president of MU Improv, a publicist for MU Comedy Orgs, and a playwright for the Talking Horse Theater. Kennedy's recommender notes her talent in playwriting in saying, Kennedy's play is a masterful blend of tenderness and comedy with a wildly inventive non-linear choral kick that really de demonstrates incredible dramaturgical skill. Kennedy's gifts with comedy are blended with a keen ability to lead and organize. Congratulations, Kennedy. <laughs> Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Joella Melagrito. <laughs> Joella is a junior from Centralia, Missouri. She's studying civil and environmental engineering while also serving as the MS. MESC Diversity, Equity, and Inclusivity Chair, and a delegate for the Mizzou Engineering Student Council. Joella's recommender says, I would rank her in the top 1% of all students I have taught in the past five years in respect of her problem-solving skills and understanding of fundamental engineering principles. I believe this outstanding student has a bright future and is on track to become a young, talented civil engineer with formidable skills in design, operations, and management. Congratulations, Joella. <laughs> Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Emma Morrow. <laughs> Emma is a junior from Baldwin, Missouri. She's studying nursing while also serving on the Inclusive Excellence Committee, the Board of, the dire board of Directors for the Mizzou Student Nurses Association, and a student ambassador for the School of Nursing. Emma's recommender says, Emma's academic achievement can only be described as exceptional. She has a 4.0 out of 4.0 grade point average. This is, a, this is significant considering the intensity of the nursing program. Her level of respect, sense of responsibility, desire to discover, and overall academic and service excellence make her deserving of mortar board membership. Congratulations, Emma.
Next, the Friars would like to honor and recognize Taylor McMahon. <laughs> Taylor is a junior from Sullivan, Missouri. She's a triple major studying economics, real estate, and finance and banking, while also serving as the chapter president for the Collegiate Entrepreneur Organization, co-founder of the Alexander Hamilton Society, an entrepreneur for her own business that has been sponsored on Mizzou's campus. Taylor's recommender says, Mortarboard places a strong emphasis on diversity and self-motivation, and I firmly believe that Taylor embodies these principles. Her ability to work collaboratively with individuals from diverse backgrounds while maintaining a strong personal drive is truly commendable. She has consistently demonstrated an eagerness to learn from others and share their own experiences, fostering a culture of inclusion and respect. Congratulations, Taylor. And we have our honor tap. The Friars would like to honor and recognize Daisy Muhammad. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> She's the best. Please go. Daisy is from Indonesia and works as a snack bar attendant for MU's campus dining services. While Daisy is originally from Indonesia, she moved to the, to the United States for her husband to pursue his PhD. From working at J Cafe to Starbucks, Daisy tirelessly dedicates herself to serving our students. Beyond her Starbucks apron, she is a devoted mother, a loving wife, and a cherished friend to many. As an Indonesian immigrant, Daisy has faced her fair share of challenges. Despite the hurdles she has encountered along the way, her relentless determination, resilience, and grace have served as a beacon of hope. Daisy's remarkable compassion, positivity, and infectious smile have the remarkable ability to uplift spirits and spread joy wherever she goes. In celebrating Daisy, we celebrate the countless ways in which one individual can truly make a difference, one cup of coffee and one heartfelt smile at a time. It is with a great honor that we welcome Daisy Muhammad as an honorary member of Mortarboard. Congratulations, Daisy. <laughs> with these 10 bright young scholars standing before you, I hope that you all recognize their efforts for change and feel inspired that it will come to our campus, championed by these future leaders. Mortarboard stands strong through the pillars of scholarship, leadership, and service. The new age of Friars will employ diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging into an already formidable fortress of education and achievement. I will leave you all with words from a greater speaker than me, poet and activist Amanda Gorman. It only seems fitting to consider the future of Mortarboard and Mizzou as a whole on days like these. When the day comes to step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid, the new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light if we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. Thank you. Our next society, society to be recognized is QEBH. QEBH is the oldest honor society at the University of Missouri, founded in 1898 by Dr. Royal Hill Switzler. Founded in 1898, QEBH is the University of Missouri's oldest honor society. Dr. Royal Hill Switzler sought a select group of students who would contribute to the university's well-being. To promote the university and to constantly be on guard on her behalf, Switzler said.
Founded in 1898, QEBH is the University of Missouri's oldest honor society. Dr. Royal Hill Switzler sought a select group of students who would contribute to the university's well-being. To promote the university and to constantly be on guard on her behalf, Switzler said. Good afternoon. My name is Sadia Momita, and it is truly the honor of a lifetime to serve as the 125th president of QEBH. We pride ourselves here at Mizzou for our deep history and connection to the state of Missouri, but I would be remiss if I didn't recognize we stand on stolen Peoria, Wajaje, Ocheti Sakawin, Saskakia, and Kikapoa lands. The QEBH conceived by Dr. Switzler was a society without women, without people of color, and without religious diversity. And while we honor the ideals for which this society was created, we now honor those who love this community so dearly they are willing to fight for it. We are now coming up upon 10 years since the injustices that led to Concerned Student 1950, an event that has all but been swept under the rug. But we refuse to forget. So many students, faculty, and staff today stand on the backs of those who made unimaginable sacrifices to create a better Mizzou. It is through these advocates that students like me can stand before you today. They have continued to inspire generations of trailblazers. They have continued. The students, faculty, and staff that stand before you today do good every day, not for the sake of recognition, but for the simple fact that it is the right thing to do. They recognize that a commitment to this world is a commitment to making it better than you found it. This means standing up for injustices, however big or small, near or far. Today, we have the honor of revealing the 126th QEBH TAP class. First, we will present our honor TAPs. These are faculty and staff members that display a significant care and consideration for their students, the community they cultivate, and the world around them. For our first honor tap, we have Rashua Abu Salim. <laughs> From the Garden State of New Jersey, Rasha is a first generation Palestinian American. Her keen sense of justice comes from the injustices her family experienced since the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians in 1948 until today. It is no wonder she is now a humanitarian worker, working at more than 40 refugee sites for families who have been displaced just like hers. She has brought her, she has brought her decades of experience to the university to teach an international conflict resolution class through the Peace Studies Department. With a background as rich as hers, she provides an in-depth look into what global conflict looks like and offers patience and grace to her students. While she wears many hats, her most recent endeavor brought her to Egypt, where she prepared food and medical aid to be sent into Gaza, much of which remains obstructed by the Israeli occupation forces. Before all else, she is always willing to get things done, no matter how challenging and heartbreaking it may be. It is our privilege to honor Rasha Abu Salim. Our next honor tap is Dr. Jenna Wintenberg, a lifelong Missouri Tiger who serves as the Associate Professor and Director of Undergraduate Studies for the College of Health Sciences. One of the most incredible things about Dr. Wintenberg is her commitment to service, both in and outside of the classroom. In classes, students are struck by her emphasis on connecting with each and every student. Rather than simply teaching for her students to regurgitate information, she focuses on creating the next generation of healthcare providers that are equitable and compassionate leaders. Outside of the classroom, her passions for public health have led her to doing extensive research on tobacco prevention and even serves as a tobacco treatment specialist for MU Health. Her compassion for people and benevolent spirit have made her an exceptional leader and individual. It is our privilege to honor Dr. Jenna Wintenberg. For our final honor tap, we have Isis Thompson, a Hulk. Yeah. 
a hall coordinator with residential life from none other than Kansas City. Anyone who has the privilege of working with her knows the great lengths she goes to support her students. Her leadership prioritizes the well-being of all of her students and staff and creates a welcoming environment. She moves with humility, prioritizes collaboration, and shows her commitment to feedback to become a better leader. Her role is unique in that she is not just a boss, but a confidant and a mentor to her students. She's a shining example of the best of us and represents an unwavering commitment to those around her. It is our privilege to honor Isis Thompson. <laughs> Next, we will move on to our undergraduate TAPS. First, we have Isleen Atalla, who studies mechanical engineering. Hailing from Kalandia, Palestine, she has spent a great deal of her college career fighting for justice. From her weekly rallies encouraging people, the people of Colombia to learn more about the plight of Palestinian peoples, to her work in Behind the Veil, an experimental short film shown at several international film festivals, Isleen typifies what it means not only to speak up, but speak out. We live in a time and place that, is so, des that so desperately wants us to keep her down. Her tenacity, and courage remain unwavering and serve as an inspiration for so many around her as well. She is a force to be reckoned with and demonstrates how service to her community is service to the people of this university. It is our privilege to honor Isleen Atalla. <laughs> Next, we have Peyton Blanchard. who studies English and art. From none other than the Chicagoland area, he is as kind as they come. From his work at the social justice centers, his love for the arts and the people that make them, and his unending support of the community around him, Peyton exemplifies what it means to be a good person. If he has even one nice thought cross his mind, he doesn't hesitate to share it, brightening the days of those around him, whether they know him or not. He is always kind, simply for the good of it. If a tree were to fall in the forest, I know Peyton would be the one to catch it. It is our privilege to honor Peyton Blanchard. <laughs> Next, we have Rucha Kalkar, who, <laughs> who studies health science. A mighty St. Louisan, Louisian? I've never, I never really learned it. <laughs> she dug her roots deep into the Columbia community. You can find her advocating for mental health awareness in Asian American students, snapping photos for her photography business, and working in cutting edge research through the School of Health Professions. Ruja shows how advocacy and justice takes many forms, from the microscopic to the international, and how no one alone makes progress. Her self-assurance is infectious and creates relationships that are meaningful, engaging in dialogue and work that we need to make Mizzou flourish. It is our privilege to honor Rucha Kalkar. <laughs> Next, we have Bobby Lee. <laughs> who studies history and political science. From Waterloo, Illinois, Bobby shares his passions with anyone he meets. For him, knowledge is the greatest tool to use against a world that is keen on ignorance. His research with the Kinder Institute of, Inst of Constitutional Democracy shed light on the power our language has on our understanding and perspective of history. Bobby shows such a keen sense of justice, not only from his academic learning, but from the relationships he builds in understanding. He is an inspiration to those around him. It is our privilege to honor Bobby Lee. For the last of our junior taps, we have Nala Luckett. <laughs> From the great city of Chicago, Nala studies psychology with plans of serving people just like her. A natural born entertainer, Nala fills every space she walks into with radiance. In all of her extracurricular involvement, from marching band to tour team, she is always looking to create a space of comfort and joy. This effervescence has created an exceptional leader who will no doubt create the environment for generations after to thrive on this campus. It is our privilege to honor Nala Luckett.
Last, we have two of our sophomore taps. We have, first, we have Amiel Ford. Amiel Ford is a sophomore who studies health science. Yet another Chicago lander, Amiel has embraced the Mizzou community and is exactly the kind of student that makes this such a special place. Throughout his college career, he has advocated for the black students of Mizzou and beyond. From serving as a peer mentor for the Black Men's Initiative to his intercollegiate work with the Big 12 Council on Black Student Governments, Amiel is in integral to what it means to be making this university a better place, even when administration and legislators fight to take this progress away. He inspires those around him to think critically and create a better world together. His charisma and commitment for justice are exactly why it is our privilege to honor Amiel Ford. Last but certainly not least, we have Dustin Peters. A biochemistry student from Festus, Missouri. He is an immensely selfless individual, constantly serving the people and community around him. On campus, he's a resident advisor and a peer learning assistant. His passion for healthcare has brought him to advocate for underprivileged families at Mizzou's pediatric clinic. Outside the classroom, he continues to serve with both Mizzou club tennis team and with Phi Delta Epsilon. But Dustin doesn't do all of this to build his resume. He does it because it's what he loves, and what he loves is serving the people around him. He is a selfless thinker, always trying to help those around him in whatever way he can, no matter how big or small. It is our distinct privilege to honor Dustin Peters. One more time for the tap class, the 126th tap class of QEBH. <laughs> While we have had the privilege today to celebrate this university that so many of us call home, we must acknowledge that over the last seven months, every single university and college in the Gaza Strip has been destroyed. Centuries of learning are gone, along with the targeted killing and displacement of academic, scientific, and intellectual figures. So I will finish today with a part of a poem from the late writer, poet, and professor Refat al -Arir. If I must die, then you must live to tell my story. If I must die, let it bring hope. Let it be a tale. Thank you. Our next society to be recognized today is Rowling Society, established in 1994 by the University of Missouri Graduate and Professional Council. Rowling Society recognizes outstanding graduate students. Established in 1994 by the Graduate Professional Council, the Rollins Society honors graduate and professional students at MU who have significantly advanced the well-being of self-defined communities beyond the scope of their academic work. Each of these TAPs has made contributions above and beyond the expectations of graduate students, and each of them embodies, through their actions, our society's watchwords of duty, faithfulness, and leadership.
Standing on existing protocols, my name is Jessica Osaze, and I am of the Rollins class of 2020. I'm a second year doctoral student in the Department of Translation and Biosciences, and I have the honor of serving as the president of the Rollins Society. I'm pleased to introduce to you the exceptional individuals who make up the Rollins class of 2024. Our first stop is Anastasia Adesi Anazonwu, a fourth year medical student at the University of Missouri School of Medicine from St. Louis, Missouri. Anastasia's commitment is exemplified by her service as a community health specialist with the Peace Corps. She serves as a student diversity ambassador, president of the Mizzou Pride Healthcare Alliance, and sexual education curriculum consultant. She's an active member of the Student National Medical Association and Medical Students for Choice. Her passion for teaching effective patient care is evident in her creation of a lecture series focusing on improving care for the LGBTQ plus community. Her nominator writes, her warmth, humor, and wonderful rapport with others are most impressive. She is one of the brightest and kindest physicians I have had the opportunity to work with. Welcome, Anastasia, to the Rollins Society. <laughs> Our second tap is Patrick Chukwebuka Bokolo, a fifth year doctoral candidate in chemistry from Nembe, Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Since the fall of 2020, Patrick has volunteered with the Africa Hub, promoting knowledge and understanding of Africa. With Kai Alpha International, he coordinates cultural and educational programs for international students each semester. Patrick helped organize the Graduate Professional Council's annual, annual Research and Creative Activities Forum conference in 2022 and 2023. Engaging many international graduate students, he championed a collaboration between Mizu2 and GPC to provide free driving lessons, an empowering program for international students and their spouses. As a Graduate Scholar of Excellence mentor, Patrick has guided underrepresented undergraduate students. Patrick's research is focused on medically relevant radioisotopes. Despite global interest in these promising radioisotopes, there is currently no reliable domestic supply. We are working to change that, as Patrick's research involves the development of methods for their production and purification. Patrick's efforts have generated excellent results. Welcome, Patrick, to the Rollins Society! Our next stop is Emma Marie Goba, a fourth year veterinary student in the University of Missouri College of Veterinary Medicine. Emma is from Fairview, Texas. She demonstrates exemplary commitment to community service, leadership, and academic excellence. She volunteers with the Street Dog Coalition, providing pet care for individuals experiencing homelessness. She has served as a volunteer guide dog puppy trainer, holds fear free certifications, and is a Pi Zeta Honor Society of Veterinary Medicine member. Emma's passion for veterinary medicine and her dedication to service distinguishes her from her peers. Her nominators praise her as one of the brightest students that have worked with, noting her excellent clinical skills, knowledge base, and gift for providing compassionate care to her patients. A recommender writes, one of Emma's most notable attributes was her dedication to her patients. She would frequently come in early and stay late and spend extra time taking care of her patients. She would call and text owners multiple times a day with updates. And I had several clients make comments about how attentive Emma was to their questions and concerns. We welcome Emma to the Rolling Society. <laughs> Our fourth tap is Anu Oluwapo Oswashi Gomina, a fifth year 
chemistry PhD candidate from Igara, Edo State, Nigeria. Anu Oluwapo serves as secretary of the National Organization for the Professional Advancement of Black Chemists and Chemical Engineers, N-O-B-C-C-H-E, MU chapter. She's a graduate scholar of excellence mentor and volunteers with STEM Corps, providing STEM education to elementary students. She's a tri research fellow supporting inclusive excellence in undergraduate STEM education. Anu Oluwako balances her impress impressive academic pursuits and extensive service with being a devoted wife and mother of two young girls. Her nominators complement her humility, willingness to serve, and tireless efforts to create a more inclusive environment for all STEM communities at Mizu. One recommender says, Anu can teach, lead, and manage as a volunteer, affording us the opportunity to nurture Lex experience instructors and build a broader base of science communicators. Her humility and willingness to serve make Anu invaluable to our programming. Welcome, Anu Oluwako, to the Rowling Society. Our fifth top is Rishabh Mahendra, a third year doctoral student in Kafna's Division of Applied Social Science from China, Tamil Nadu, India. Rishabh has two profound ambitions in life, saving the world's ecosystems and ending poverty. He's an exceptional student leader devoted to building better communities. He has served as director of the Ditton Scholars Program for two years engaging students from all disciplines to fight global poverty and hunger. Rishabh founded the Mizu chapter of universities fighting world hunger, helping educate students and the community on food insecurity. He's a student affairs student assessment board member and president of his department's graduate student association. Rishabh's tireless work to improve life for all and make a positive impact on Mizu is highly commendable. Rishab, we welcome you to the Rowling Society. <laughs> Our sixth stop is Damilola Obipeju Odu Olowu, a second year doctoral student in the School of Journalism from Ikorodu, Lagos State, Nigeria. Damilola exhibits outstanding campus leadership, academic excellence, mentorship, and teaching. He stands out in the journalism school for his passion for news and teaches one of the core journalism classes, preparing students for their journey into news or strategic communication. As director of public relations, Damilola has taken EMU's Graduate Professional Council's communications and outreach to new levels he serves as president of the Society of Professional Journalists, MU chapter. He recruits and mentors new journalism students. He also serves as an advisory board member for the Ditton Scholars Program, fostering interdisciplinary collaboration to tackle global poverty. Faculty and students across academic departments and student organizations rely on DAMI's expertise, dedication, and leadership. Welcome, Dami Lola, to the Rowling Society! <laughs> Our next stop is Onyekachi Juliet Opasuo, a fifth year molecular microbiology and immunology doctoral candidate from Uturu, Abia State, Nigeria. Onyekachi is a remarkable individual who has made significant tr contributions to research, service, and mentorship on Mizu's campus. She has served in numerous leadership roles, including Treasurer of the Graduate Professional Council, Graduate Scholar of Excellence Mentor, Vice President of Alternative Career Explorations in Science, Events Chair of Mizu II, Treasurer of the African Graduate and Professional Student Association, lead facilitator of the Mizu Catholic Student Organization's International Graduate Students Group, 
and as a cohort facilitator of the AMU Tribe student community. Winikachi's dedication to supporting diversity, equity, inclusion, and empowering fellow students is unparalleled. We welcome Juliet to the Rowling Society! <laughs> Our eighth and final student tab in this year's class of the Rowling Society is Tija Tepala, a fifth year physics doctoral candidate from Visakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh, India. Deja is an exceptional student leader dedicated to STEM outreach and community engagement. He has served in the Cultural Association of India, Missouri International Student Council, and Graduate Professional Council. As a physics department outreach coordinator, Teja has promoted STEM education, especially for women and underrepresented groups. He pursued a graduate certificate in public engagement to enhance his outreach skills. Teja organized a successful solar eclipse viewing event in 2023 that drew 250 attendees and planned more eclipse events across Missouri for 2024. His outreach has included developing lessons from home for homeschooled children to perform science experiments with day-to-day -day objects. His extensive efforts to make science accessible to the public are truly commendable. We welcome Teja to the Raleigh Society! <laughs> Our first honor tap is Dr. Sue Boren. full professor in the Department of Health Sciences and program director of the Master of Health Administration program. Sue mentors and teaches dozens of graduate students each year and has, and has an astounding record of service. We are grateful for her service and for the opportunity to welcome Sue to the Rowling Society. Our second honor tab is Dr. Heather Hoffman, Assistant Dean for Professional Development. She's committed to fostering excellence within the graduate school through research, collaboration, and scholarly engagement activities. We are proud to name Heather a member of the Raleigh Society. <laughs> Distinguished members of the Mizu community, I present to you the Rollins class of 2024! Hello everyone, I'm Yudita Lubani. <laughs> the next honor society we'll recognize today is Mystical Seven, one of the university's oldest honorary societies. Mystical Seven recognizes and promotes leadership, service, integrity, and scholarship. One of the oldest societies, Mystical Seven, recognizes and promotes leadership, service, integrity, and scholarship. They honor students and faculty of remarkable character. It's a place for those who will pursue uplifting platforms instead of things that are popular for a short moment. The people of Mystical Seven seek goodness, 
not because it is loud, ambitious, or popular, but because being good is fundamental to a mystical being. This year's TAP Day marks the 117th year of Mystical Seven's public existence, and we are honored to be here before you all today with another class of wonderful individuals. Before I name the new members of Mystical Seven, I would like to take a moment to address the Missouri, Mizzou community who has faced so much change over the past few years of uncertainty and trauma. I would like to first recognize our student body. We've seen a campus that so many of us were growing to love become something that feels tense and in some ways invalidating. Challenges such as the loss of diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives, outdated Title IX processes, insufficient ways, wages for campus dining workers, and inadequate support for black faculty and staff contributing to increased turnover within this demographic. We know that our communities are feeling a loss of connection and support. We want to recognize our student body for the resilience they have shown while continuing to educate and advocate for progress. Although that responsibility should not fall on the shoulders of marginalized students alone. We see you, we hear you, and we truly thank you. In addition to our student body, we speak to our chancellor, board of curators, and state legislator. If this event were taking place on the stage some 72 years ago, not a single person standing before you would have been allowed to attend Mizzou, much less be recognized in this way. Much like the 1950s, black and brown individuals have had to continue to fight against oppression at this university into this present day. It might not be today or tomorrow, but one day the bandages that you all continue to carelessly apply over the university's race, class, and other identity-based issues as a means to silence our voices will be ripped off. In the best way possible, in the words of Kurt Van Gutt, you're, you can't fight progress. The best thing you can do is ignore it until it finally takes your livelihood and self-respect away. Without further ado, the individuals that I'm about to announce are being revealed both as a thank you for their great deeds to our community, but also as a call to arms to continue to do good work throughout our campus and beyond. Our first mystical tap is Brianna Davis. Yeah. Brianna Davis is a junior from St. Louis who is studying journalism with minors in criminology and Korean studies. Brianna's involvement at, the Mizzou, at Mizzou includes the National Association of Black Journalists, Mizzou Black Creatives, the Man Eater, and the Korean Students Association. The way she hones her talents is truly inspiring, evident in not, not only in her art, but in her dedication to mentorship and willingness to support her peers for guiding others in their creative endeavors to pursuing boundaries of con conventional thinking. Brianna continuously demonstrates a commitment to fostering collaborative and inclusive communities across campus. Brianna, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. <laughs> Our next mystical tap is Kaylin Walker. Kaylin Walker. Kaylin Walker is a junior from Rainland, Missouri, studying microbiology and pre-law. Kaylin is a well-rounded leader who works with organizations on campus such as the Legion of Black Collegians, Missouri Student Association, and the Alumni Association Student Board. Kaylin uses her leadership positions to advocate for students of color on her on our campus. Her passion for social justice and advocacy have paved the way for so many students on this campus and inspire us to continue our work. Kaylin, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. The 
third mystical tap that we are re revealing today is Kobe Smith. <laughs> Kobe is a junior from Bloomington, Illinois, studying graphic design. Kobe serves as a peer mentor for the Missouri Black Men's Initiative and also serves as the Freshman Action Team Chair and the Communications Chair for the Legion of Black Collegians. He is a proud member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. Kobe, Kobe is dependable no matter how many obligations are on his plate. His humble dedication to grinding on behind the scenes work on our campus sets him apart from most. Kobe, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. The mystical family, the mystical seven family will next reveal tap Lima Shirzad. Lima is a junior from Fulton, Missouri, studying biological sciences. Lima currently serves as a vice president of the M Muslim Students Organization and is involved with the Missouri Student for Justice Palestine Organization. <laughs> Off campus, Lima volunteered with the City of Refuge as a youth group leader for the local mosque. Lima is an incredibly impactful leader. She is present, strong, and thoughtful in everything she does for her community. Lima, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. <laughs> Next, we are happy to introduce our TAP, Gabri Gabrielle Taffy. Yeah. Gabby is a junior from Chicago, Illinois, studying education and music. Gabby is involved with Zoo Bible, Zoo Bounce, and Minority Mental Health Matters. Okay. Off campus, Gabby is extremely involved with the For His Glory Praise Dance team. <laughs> Gabby is also gifted with the ability to play multiple instruments and has performed with the Mizzou Symphony team. Gabby inspires to continue to build to one day become school administrator. She is not only a kind-hearted and open individual, but is also a passionate leader. Gabby, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. Yeah. Our final junior tap is Miriam Murrahan. Mur Miriam is from Germantown, Tennessee, and is studying industrial engineering with a minor in mathematics and business here at Mizzou. Mm. Miriam serves as the vice president of the National Society of Black Engineers at Mizzou. As a leader, she approaches all interactions with kindness and empathy while still providing constructive feedback and guidance to her peers. Miriam, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. Each year, Mystical Seven recognizes an outstanding sophomore who has set themselves apart during their short time here at Mizzou. The sophomore TAP will go on to lead the Mystical Seven TAP class of 2025 as their president. Our outstanding sophomore TAP is Morgan Jones. <laughs> Thank you. 
Morgan is from St. Louis, Missouri, and is studying health sciences with a minor in psychology at Mizzou. Morgan is involved with the Alumni Association Student Board, Stroll Like an Alpha, Summer Welcome, the Association of Black Psychologists, and the Legion of Black Collegians. Okay. Morgan, <laughs> Morgan's done this all with her dedication to leadership and making the group she is a part of feel like home for others. Morgan, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. While he couldn't be with us today, the first honor tap I would have presented is Robin Clay. Robin is the manager for diversity and inclusion initiatives at the University of Missouri School of Medicine. This honor tap is set up celebrated for his unwavering commitment to the community through mentorship, mentorship, and active engagement. His dedication to each student he encourages is truly extraordinary and deserves a high praise. His sincerity knows no bounds, and his intentional efforts is checking up on people extend be beyond one what might expect leaving a profound impact to all those he interacts with. Robin, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. The next honor tap is Zaid Al-Rawi. Zaid embodies the very essence of compassion, dedication, and leadership. As a second year student in medical school, he's, he's not only excels academically, but also dedicates himself to uplifting others. His involvement in the Student National Medical Association shows his commitment to fostering diversity in the medical field, a space that has not always been as inclusive as to underrepresented students. His efforts with the City of Refuge to establish a clinic for refugees shows an unwavering dedication to serving others. We see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. Yeah. Our final honor tap is Stasha V. Yeah. Simone. Sasha is a senior diversity program coordinator. Through her time in the Columbia community has not been short, she has made such an incredible impact on our campus. Stasa is a safe, safe haven for students in times of crisis and goes above and beyond as a mentor and advisor. Stasha, we see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. Please join me in one final applause for the 2024 TAP class of Mystical Seven. May we all be welcomed in our mystical family and continue to embody the mystical mission of the remainder of our lives. The next honorary to be recognized is Omicron Delta Kappa. ODK was formed at the University of Missouri in 1933. Members are selected on the basis of leadership, scholarship, character, and service. The National Leadership
The National Leadership Honor Society, ODK, strives to meet the goals of our founders to recognize those who have attained a high standard of efficiency in collegiate activities and inspire others to strive for noticeable achievements. The Society brings together the most representative students of all phases of campus life to create an organization that helps mold the sentiment of the institution on questions of local and intercollegiate interests. ODK seeks to recognize students, faculty, and staff, not only of exceptional scholarship and character, but who are also the most well-rounded leaders in our society's five pillars of campus life. Academics and research, athletics, service to campus and community, communication, and creative and performing arts. This year, we are honored to tap 19 individuals corresponding with our society's founding in 1914. 18 students and one faculty member who embody our society's values here at the University of Missouri. Our first tap is Reza Alvi. Reza is a senior from Plainfield, Illinois, majoring in linguistics. Reza serves as director of technical productions for the Campus Activities Programming Board, prime minister of the South Asian Students Association, captain of Mizzou Masti, and is a member of the Ash Scholars Research Team. Congratulations, Reza. Our next tap is Ramses Baggio. Ramses is a senior from Columbia, Missouri, studying biological sciences. Ramses is the president of the Filipino Student Association and the treasurer of the Pan-Asian Mental Health Advocacy Coalition. He is part of Dr. Anad Chandraskar's neuroscience lab, studying neuromigration in the Nebrafish hindbrain. Ramses plans to attend dental school at the University of Missouri, Kansas City in the fall. Congratulations, Ramses. Our next tap is Calvin Banks. Calvin is a junior from Rock Island, Illinois. He is majoring in educational studies with an emphasis in educational leadership. Calvin currently serves as the Chief Justice of the Missouri Students Association and actively participates in the College of Education and Human Development Student Council. He's involved with the Chancellor's Standing Committee for Academic Affairs, as well as Marching Mizzou. Additionally, he holds the position of Vice President of the International Trumpet Guild at MU and serves as a summer welcome leader in 2022. Congratulations, Calvin. Our next tap is Brayden Bond. Brayden is a junior from O'Fallon, Missouri, studying health science. Brayden serves as a member of Mizzou Homecoming Steering Committee, Greek Week, and Ram Steering Committee. He was an American Physiological Society Award recipient, Greek Week Top 10 Royalty Honoree, and recipient of the Huey Blake Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Brayden. Our next tap is Elizabeth Carlson. Beth is a junior from Naperville, Illinois, majoring in journalism with an emphasis in television. She works as a producer, reporter, and anchor at KOMU, and has also served on the RAM Steering Committee as the operations director for Camp Kesem, and as a senior journalism ambassador. She produced a Mizzou Honors College documentary film and has had numerous leadership roles in her sorority. Congratulations, Beth. Our next tap is Ashley Dickey. Ashley is a sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri, dual majoring in journalism and political science with a minor in German. Ashley is the public relations chair for Fighting Pretty Mizzou, as well as a spring activities chair for Kappa Alpha Theta, serving as a head liaison for Rams and Greek Week. Within the journalism school, she is a journalism ambassador and works at KOMU8 as a digital producer and production assistant. Congratulations, Ashley. Our next tap is Sydney Dixon. Sydney is a senior from St. Joseph, Missouri, dual majoring in journalism and parks, recreation, sport, and tourism. She is a member of the Alumni Association Student Board and also serves as a resident advisor and has taught the Honors Journalism FIG. She is an ambassador for ResLife and the College of Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources, and has also been a strategic communication intern at Mizzou Athletics for three years. Congratulations, Sydney. Our next tap is Olivia Japong, who is unable to be here today as she is currently studying abroad. 
Olivia is a junior from Silver Spring, Maryland, pursuing a dual major in journalism and political science. Olivia is a stamp scholar, Walter Williams scholar, and Kinder Fellow, and she was elected vice committee chair of the MU student chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists in 2022. She's also held an editor position at the Man Eater and has been an undergraduate researcher, as well as a member of Little Sisters of the Gold Rose Service Sorority. Congratulations, Olivia. Our next tap is Zoe Heinrich. Zoe is a junior from Arlington Heights, Illinois, dual majoring in English and psychology. Zoe serves as the director of community outreach for Mizzou Alternative Breaks, as well as a cycling instructor at Mizzou Rec and a campus tour guide. She was a summer welcome leader, is an honors college student and research assistant, and has performed in Mizzou theater productions. Congratulations, Zoe. Our next tap is Lana Hill. Yeah! Lana is a junior from St. Louis, Missouri, dual majoring in business administration with emphases in finance and real estate and economics. Lana is a George C. Brooks and Vassy Academy scholar and is the past president of Mizzou Club Climbing and Venture Club. Lana is a current member of the campus dining student advisory board, a residential advisor for Johnston Hall, and a team building facilitator at Venture Out. Congratulations, Lana. Yeah! Our next tap is Preston Kellenberger, who is unable to be here today as he is competing at a percussion competition. Preston is a junior from Baldwin, Missouri, studying biochemistry and serves as head of a beat of change, snare drum section leader at Freedom Indoor Percussion, and is a member of the Cavalier Drum and Bugle Corps. In 2023, he was awarded first place for his poster presentation at the KU Medical Center. Congratulations, Preston. Our next tap is Matthew Kimaku. Matthew is a sophomore from Lee's Summit, Missouri, dual majoring in health science and nutrition, exercise physiology. Matthew serves as president of the Alumni Association Student Board, a College of Health Science ambassador, a research assistant in the Parks Nutrition Lab, and member of the Department of Health Science IDE Committee. He was awarded Mizzou's Hesburgh Award, outstanding new AASB member of the 2022 member class, and was an ODK Top 14 Distinguished Freshman. Congratulations, Matthew. Our next tap is Sarah Love. Sarah is a senior from Olive Branch, Mississippi, studying health science. Sarah serves as the Assistant Legislative Director for the Associated Students of the University of Missouri and is a member of tour team. She is the former Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Panhellenic Association and DEI Chair for Chi Omega. She was also an undergraduate research assistant. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next tap is Jonathan Martinez. Jonathan is a junior from Rayton, Missouri, triple majoring in history, public policy, and agriculture. He serves as president of the Interfraternity Council and secretary of the Association of Latin American Students. He is also a proud member of his fraternity, Phi Kappa Theta. Congratulations, Jonathan. Our next tap is Shanley Sylvie. Shanley is a senior from Columbia, Missouri, pursuing a Bachelor of Journalism in Strategic Communications. She serves as the Communications Director for the Associated Students of the University of Missouri and is also involved in the Mizzou Mock Trial Association and has served as captain for the past two years. Congratulations, Shanley. Our next tap is Christian Simmons. Christian is a senior from Omaha, Nebraska, dual majoring in biology and psychology. He serves as president of Alpha Sigma Phi. He is also a member of the Alumni Association Student Board and also plays defensive midfielder for the Mizzou Club Lacrosse team. He has three years of research experience in Dr. Jacqueline Lindbergh's lab in the Department of Nutrition and Exercise Physiology. Congratulations, Christian. Our next tap is Elizabeth Trower, who is unable to be here today as she is competing with INSAC in Kansas City. Elizabeth is a senior from Perry, Missouri, studying journalism with an emphasis in strategic communication. She was a Mizzou 39 recipient, Hesburg Scholarship Junior recipient, ODK Top 14 Distinguished Freshman, Homecoming Royalty Top 30, and part of the Courageous Leadership Series Undergraduate Student Cohort. She also serves as Secretary of AAF, President of Mizzou Women's Club Basketball, Quantitative Strategist for NSAC, was a
Kansas City. Dr. Chris teaches undergraduate and graduate courses on immigration and globalization, and is also an active researcher. His sole authored works have appeared in several peer-reviewed journals, including Organizational Cultures, an international journal, Rural Sociology, Atlantic, and NPR. In addition to his teaching and research, Dr. Chris serves as an MU Cambio Center faculty fellow and was the honorary men's, Mizzou men's basketball coach in March. Congratulations, Dr. Chris. Let's give one more final round of applause for our 2024 Omicron Delta Kappa TAPS. Good afternoon. The last society to be recognized is LSB. LSB was formed in 1908 by a group of women students who were concerned with the status of women on the University of Missouri campus. Formed in 1908, LSV was created by a group of women concerned with the status of all women on the University of Missouri campus. LSV is dedicated to improving the status of women and is a high honor bestowed upon those who embody LSV ideals. is Carrington Peavy and I'm a junior here at the University of Missouri studying journalism with an emphasis in broadcast and a double minor in social justice and criminology. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to be here and welcome to, in honor our 2024 TAP class. When I first came to Mizzou a lot of people asked me why. Coming here from the bustling city of Cleveland to the smaller city of Columbia a lot of my family and friends back home couldn't understand my desire to come to Missouri. My original reasoning was a fresh start. I dreaded the idea of seeing people from my high school and wanted to go somewhere far, far away where no one would see or think of me. Out of sight, out of mind, right? As I continued my academics here, I grew tremendously. I gained and lost friends. I met mentors and professors who shaped my outlook on the world. I got involved with numerous organizations and worked jobs all over campus, becoming acquainted with the city. I met the best sisters I could ever have in my sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> Along with this, I received the amazing honor to be part of last year's 2023 TAP class. Life became the dream I always meant it to be. But my reasoning has changed. When I came here, I didn't know that the summer, by the summer before my junior year, I'd be looking to transfer back to a college 40 minutes away from my home after reading that they're discontinuing the diversity award. I didn't know that throughout the fall 2023 semester, I'd read headlines about major companies like Google and Meta cutting into the DEI programs they were so committed to only three years prior. I didn't know that just two weeks ago, UT Austin would eliminate almost 60 staff members, effectively shutting down their entire DEI department, leaving my brothers and sisters at that school in peril. I didn't know that I'd sit in meetings with members in my predominantly black organizations, speaking in hushed tones about our fears. Are we ready? Will our community be ready? Am I ready? Through all this change, I realized my true purpose of being here. The organizations and the people that I love are under attack. This is bigger than the 2015-2016 that people constantly bring up. To relegate the consistent struggle people of color face to a singular year is not enough. 
This is for 2024 and beyond that, that we'll spend years recovering from. The love that I have for this school knows no bounds. I wouldn't be the woman I am standing here speaking to, with you without this institution. However, this is why my reason here has changed. I have to fight. Fight for the women talked over and walked on by their peers and professors. Fight for the black women who are over-sexualized and prevented from being vulnerable. Fight for the people of color to continue to thrive on this campus, not try to survive. LSV women promote and improve the status of women in our communities. This year's TAP class directly mirrors this. This class is for women on this campus who are fighters. Women who we've seen on this camp campus working towards a better tomorrow. Women who know what it means to lose their voice and use it effectively. Women who are in the right spaces, doing the right things, and saying what matters. I am beyond honored to announce LSV's 2024 TAP class, A Woman Unwavered. I'd like to announce the first member of our TAP class, Diamond Russell. <laughs> Diamond Russell. <laughs> Diamond Russell is a junior from the Windy City of Chicago, Illinois. Diamond is studying educational leadership with minors in human development and family sciences, leadership in public service, and social justice for educational leaders. She is currently involved in the Alumni Association Student Board, Tour Team, United Ambassadors, National Alliance of Black Student Educators, and Dream Outside the Box. <laughs> Diamond's favorite pastimes are shopping and listening to music, and she's also exploring an interest in photography. Her favorite thing to do is watch the sunset and even sometimes the sunrise. We chose Diamond for the 2024 TAP class because we noticed how much of a hard worker she is and how seriously she takes her work on campus. Please give Diamond a round of applause. <laughs> Next up, we have Jasmine Green. Jasmine is a sophomore from the hot city of Houston, Texas. Jasmine is studying graphic design. In addition to the course load she participates in at Mizzou, she also works at The Mass Inc., which is a PR firm based in Chicago. She works to create cl content for TMI's clientele, which are nonprofits and humanitarians. Jasmine also proudly serves as the executive secretary of the Legion of Black Collegians Executive Cabinet. Besides being an October Scorpio, she enjoys thrifting, hanging out with friends, and watching college basketball. You can find Jasmine on campus drinking an oat milk chai latte and rewatching her favorite movie of all time, Cheetah Girls 2. We, ch we chose Jasmine because she takes great pride in her Mizzou community and makes an active effort to create more opportunities for equity in all of her organizations. Please give another hand for Jasmine. Our next tap is Katie Schnelli. Katie is a sophomore from the city of Lockwood right here in the Show Me State. She's studying psychological sciences with minors in biology and women and gender studies. Katie has been a part of the Summer Welcome 2023 class where she was able to help future students find their place at Mizzou and foster a better space on campus. She's also part of the Student Recreation Advocates, the Alumni Association Student Board, and the Sexual Education and Advocacy at Mizzou Outreach Coordinator. She's a part of the Honors College and helps tutor students who take biology through Tiger Tutors. We picked Katie because of her dedication to serving others, fostering inclusion, and her future endeavors in being a therapist for younger marginalized people. Please give another hand for Katie. The next member of our TAP class is Mara Dumitru. Mara is a senior from the beautiful Bucharest, Romania, but now lives in Menlo Park, California. Here at Mizzou, she's graduating with a bachelor's in journalism with an emphasis in journalism, as well as a triple minor in Spanish, German, and textile and apparel management. Mara has been involved with her campus and works as the editor in chief. When she's not busy editing stories, you can find her playing fetch with her dog on the quad or reading a book at her favorite cafe. 
We chose Mara to highlight all the work and accomplishments she has done with the Mizzou chapter of her campus, as well as her diverse background and achievements thus far. Please give another round for Mara. Our final member of our TAP class is Sophie Rentschler. <laughs> Sophie is a journalism and physics major with a minor in Spanish. She is passionate about communicating science to different audiences and using multimedia content creation as well. Alongside her coursework, Sophie is working on a research or internship organizing galaxy data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope and making inferences about galaxies and their properties. On campus, Sophie is the co-president of the MU chapter of the National Association of Hispanic Journalists, managing editor of the, Man of the Man Eater, and a member of the Alumni Association Student Board. Outside of academia, you can find her running, scrapbooking, styling clothes, and going to local coffee shops. We chose Sophie because of how she uplifts her community day in and day out by supporting Latino-owned businesses like La Calle Ocho Cafe and how she leads women on the Man Eater Exec Board. Please give it up for all of our undergraduate taps again. <laughs> now we will be announcing our honor taps. These professional women are about business and exemplify what it means to be an LSV woman every single day. We're proud to announce these women as our 2024 honor taps. Our first honor tap for this year is Linda Reeder. <laughs> Linda is the chair for the Women in Gender Studies Department here at MU and is a history professor. Her research consists of gender sexuality, belonging, literary, oh, Italian psychiatry, and emotions. She has two books published centering around the history of Italy as it relates to women and their experiences with immigration. Her current book project is Disordered Houses, which explores the role of Italian psychiatry in shaping gender, sexuality, and citizenship. She also teaches courses here on the 19th and 20th century gender history, migration, and history from a European context. We picked Linda because of the serious dedication she has towards the struggles of women abroad, as well as her contributions to the Women and Gender Studies Department thus far. Let's give another hand for Linda. Our final honor tap for this year is Teresa Solis Metz. <laughs> Teresa is the Director of Recruitment and College Engagement for the College of Education and Human Development. Teresa became a full-time employee in 2016 as a coordinator for the Bridge Program. The Bridge is a program dedicated to connecting individuals and expanding social justice perspectives through activities like service learning, research, and discussion groups. We chose Teresa because of her continuous efforts to bring community and a sense of belonging to countless students of color on campus. Give another hand for Teresa. Let's give another round of applause for all of our 2024 LSV TAP class. Thank you so much for attending Tab Day 2024. Let's give another round of applause for all the Mizzou community members who are tapped into these prestigious organizations.